Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel and welcome to this gorgeous town called San Giuliano di Puglia in Molise. We have been meaning to come to San Giuliano gosh, for quite a long time, at least from last year, when we met a local builder um, from this town. There is something very interesting and sad about San Giuliano and is that in 2002 there was an earthquake. One of the main reasons that we wanted to come to San Giuliano is because of after meeting this person that I'm talking about, he spoke so highly of the place. He said that way over half the town had already been renovated with the highest technology available for earthquake resistance and earthquake probing. So we really wanted to come and have a look. But what we found, um, we weren't prepared for. It's a gorgeous town, is neat and organized. The historical center is beautiful. And even the part that is not part of the historical center is really nice. It's amazingly well kept. The streets are wide. It's green. It is probably the one town that we've been to Italy where you don't see a for sale sign on the on a window or on a door. We've been walking around for quite a few hours speaking with locals and there are literally no houses for sale. San Giuliano di Puglia is about 40 minutes from our home in Molise. The first part that we arrived to was the main street of town and we came across this beautiful fountain. Later we understood the meaning of it. Maintain the history. Keep, keep the history. We've been meaning to come here since last year. Is that like a little piazza? Yeah. Like a bar. I don't understand these buildings. No, I don't Dude. either. They seem older, like maybe they didn't didn't they didn't need to be restructured. Or yeah, restored. Restored. Right now it is a Saturday morning, kind of lateish during a warm summer day. There were a few people around, not really much seemed to be happening, but we were not surprised as usually in summer people go to the beach early during the day and then come out for different activities in their local towns at night time. We 
We were very surprised at the fact that all these houses seem to have been renovated to a very high standard, yet they seemed not to be lived in. Usually you will see somewhat rundown houses that are empty. That's normal for us. But immaculately done houses like these without people in them? Never. something being rebuilt at the back. Wish this is so neat. Look, that one round up there suits it. See up there? Yeah, yeah. Like as a feature. Yeah, but that's that's that that that's different. That's a nice um, creeper. Yeah. But maybe around here there are smaller houses. Cooking is a capsicum sauce or something. It smells delicious. Yeah. Oh. They should invite us over for lunch. Ha! Huh. That's for someone's house. Hmm? To go to someone's house. Well, Maybe the pool is over there. No, yeah. Like in the new area. Reminds me of a small version of Anyone. And super well kept, oh, like Anyone. Really, well, yeah, I think this is even more well kept. I mean, because of all the rebuilding. Oh, look at the tunnel. Yeah, I just took, I just show down this way. Ah, is that another town there? Look. Oh, yeah, 
No, siamo dall'Australia. Stanno a Sydney. In Sydney? In Sydney? Ah, noi... Sono una fotografa, fai la fotografa. Beh, sì. Qualcosa, qualcosa. bel paese quindi va e questo siamo ti venuti. piace questo bellissimo uh, bellissimo ci abbiamo tutto questa montagna. rinnovato sì, sì, alberi sì, danno l'ossigeno sì. quella, quella da parte che sono i pini alti al cimitero si sì, ah with the pine trees is the cemetery and, and the yellow house is cool and an old old people's house questa coperta questa va seria No, he hasn't replied. Is that the one you say hello to? No. Hello, monkey. No, that was a young one. Boy, she's nice and cool here. Library, library, there. With the mouth, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it looks more like him on the camera. San Giuliano has to be one of the most beautiful towns we have seen in Italy, and at the same time, one with the saddest stories. And so, after a few hours of being here, we start to grasp the reason behind the serene, yet uneasy feeling of this town.
No. They're new, but they still have character. Character that's solid. And look at the road, so defined. Yeah. I've been working out. I'm huge. <laughs> We kept walking around admiring the sort of natural beauty of the town with its mature trees, its newly renovated houses and businesses while asking ourselves many questions. Why do these perfect looking houses seem empty? Who lives here? What are people like? Excuse me, Miss B. I don't think I've been to a town where it's thinking, you know, yeah, I can live there, I can live there, I can live there, I can live there. Normally it's just like, oh, no, this part of the town is just, is terrible because it's too new or it's ugly. But this town, almost everywhere you look, it's, the houses are, 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 are beautiful. On the 31st of October of 2002, an earthquake hit some areas of Molise and Puglia, affecting San Giuliano and its tight-knit community severely. At around 11.32 in the morning, when the quake hit, the roof of part of the elementary and nursing school building collapsed, killing 27 children and their teacher. The school, which housed kindergarten, elementary and middle school, collapsed on itself and everyone was trapped under the rubble. This site is where the old school used to be. This fountain has been built in memory of those little angels that are no longer with us. Last year, in 2022, it was commemorated the 20-year anniversary of this sad event. The memory and the loss are as fresh as ever. When we leave home and visit a new place, we just don't know what stories we will find. This one was particularly a sad one, but it reminds us of the fragility of life and the strength and importance of creating community. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope that you enjoyed it. Please let me know what you think in the comment section and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.